Today we're taking a water bottle, a washer, and a stem valve for a car tire, put them together and see if we can make a tennis ball pressurizer for under seven, eight dollars. Interested? Here we go. There's commercial products available, all have mixed reviews. One of the things I've noticed on all of these is that once you cinch it down, either this O-ring works or it doesn't, and sometimes you can't get it apart. So my design is going to have a pressure valve in order to release the pressure so that you can get the thing open. As a point of reference, an unopened can of tennis balls is at 12 pounds of pressure. And the reason why is because inside a brand new tennis ball, the pressure is 12 pounds. For this build, you'll need some sort of plastic container that has a lid like this. And this is great because it has a nice gasket in there and a little place to have your target hole. I got this at five and below for five bucks. And then some tubeless tire valves. These are TR413s, 453 rim hole, and it's one and a half inches long. After drilling the pilot hole with a smaller drill, I find that helps center holes on builds much better. I'm going to use a 3 8 inch drill. I think that's going to do it. So 7 16 inch. Here are the challenge is, is you got to try to get that over the hump and then get the plastic piece in here. And then you're going to put in a half inch washer on top of that. And depending on how thin your washers are, you might need two. I'm going to use some silicon grease as a lubricant to help get it through the hole. All right, so we'll bring it in here like this. And the whole idea is to seat it. So I'm going to go off camera, get this seated, and then I'll show you the next step. And there you go. That's a pretty good seat, but you can see there's a bit of a gap right here. And then if you're worried about some of that silicon grease, you can take that off. Just takes a little bit of work to get it on there so that you have a complete seal. There you go. Snap it right on really well. And then if, like I said, if you want, you can snap on a second one. Just work the valve stem a little bit. Yeah, look at that. It's going to go right back on. A lot of people have gone and modified even the commercial versions that you can buy and do this procedure where you just install this stem so they can release the pressure and actually open up the can. Because once you got the pressure on, even at 12 PSI, it's going to be hard to get this open. Take a little bit of the pressure off right here. You'll be able to open this up. And you don't necessarily have to take this one off. And in fact, if you're having a leakage here, you could just put in some silicon grease or something like that because this is the one you want to open because this is how you get the balls out now I use this container because it was clear and transparent but I found another container this is bomb proof you're talking stainless steel and as long as all these gaskets and there's a gasket in here and there's a gasket in here so you would put the valve stem right here and then you can put the tennis balls in here. This takes four tennis balls. I got this at Aldi, but I've seen them everywhere for about $14, $15 to get them on sale. And they're even cheaper than that. I'll post below all the materials for this build. And because I blew out this end, I had some Gorilla waterproof patch seal tape around. I'll post up here. I did an evaluation on all the tapes, flex seal, what have you, and done several flex seal evaluations, all available up here. And this one seemed to be the best for my test. So let me show you what I did here. I put the tape on there, kind of trimmed it off, cut circles, and then just put a bunch of layers in there to reinforce this so it wouldn't blow out like this one did. This blew out right around 12 PSI. And then I just pressed down real good, additional line of tape in there. So my theory is, since I had the waterproof tape, I give it a shot and see how well it works under a pressure situation. The pressure inside of a brand spanking new tennis ball is 12 PSI. When you start beating on it, theoretically, you start breaking down the layer of the rubber inside the ball and eventually wears down. Now, if you're not a professional tennis player, how bad does it wear down? That is what we're going to test out. So I opened up this can right here. Today is the 28th, so 10 days ago. So we're going to put 
all the balls in there. The brand spanking new ball. Another brand spanking new ball from 10 days ago. Now, I'm also putting in a revised tennis ball rebounder build here. This is my original tennis ball rebounder. I'll post up there that build so we can fit four balls in there. And then put this top on, tighten it down good, and pressurize it. And hopefully it's not going to blow up like this one did. I'm going to wear safety glasses because of this. Put this to the side. I've got a bike pump that's going to give me a lot of high pressure and a pressure gauge to make sure I've got right around slightly above 12 PSI in the container. Seems to be doing better than last time. Fifteen. All right, we made it. So that end did help with the waterproof Gorilla Tape. Just to remind you, this is an unfunded video. I paid for all these supplies myself. This is not an endorsement of any products. It's just a test to see what we can do here. So I'm going to set this aside in a safe place, and we're going to let it stay pressurized, and then we're going to come back and take a look at it. It's been a little over a week, so now I'm going to try the pressure on it and see if it's still good. 14 pounds. Pressure's out of there. <laughs> All right, there we go. The balls feel pretty good. Here's one that's been out that I'm using for my next project. Stay tuned for future testing of these balls and how they do with the pressure. We're gonna put this on here for a couple weeks and then see how it works. If you're interested in a tennis ball rebounder, this is version 1.0. I'll post it up there, it's pretty popular. But, I'll give you a secret, I've got version 3.0. 2.0 was a pickleball thing. It's much simpler than this design, and I've even figured out how to do the ball without putting a hole in it. If you're interested in a tennis ball rebounder, that's cheap, easy to do. Check up there and I'll have it posted and I'll also post it below. Thumbs up and comments, always appreciate it. Thanks for watching. If you like sports designs, testing of sports equipment, home repairs, I even do cosplay, props and costumes. Check out my channel and please subscribe. Cause you never know. What you gonna see.